It's like almost too hot to even put on my glove. What is going on everybody? Thank you for tuning on into the Evergreen Moto Vlog channel. So today I've got a good one. I'm going to be doing a product review and that's going to be of this windscreen right here. It's going to be a, a review of the Puig windscreen. Of course, I'm probably not going to have service. That's right. What was I thinking? All right. I don't know how to pronounce the manufacturer of the windscreen, so I just spent a couple minutes here looking up on my phone because the internet seems to be divided. So it's either Puig or Puig. So I'm going to go with Puig because that's just what looks right to me and kind of what I've been saying in my head this whole time. Like I mentioned, I'm going to be doing a review on this Puig windscreen here. This is the 9462H model, which is their light smoke windscreen for the Honda Ripple 500. But first off, I'm going to start this video off a little bit of Life of Birch style. Go get some coffee. Also going to get some coffee for my motorcycle because as you can see, I am low on fuel. One other thing I also forgot to mention in my intro there was that along with doing a review and kind of explain my experience with this uh, Puig windscreen, I am also going to give you guys a quick little story on how I decided to buy this windscreen and what drove me to make that decision. So stay tuned and this is going to be a good one. Let's get to it and I'll check back in with you guys in just a couple minutes. Man, I'm also on fire. Woo. All right, we made it. Desperately needed some gas. That is the most I've ever put into this before. All right, let's see if my favorite coffee place is open. Oh, they look open to me. Although, is there really anywhere to chill at? Yeah, we can just chill right here, right? How's it going? Good, Good. are you still open? Yeah. Awesome. Um, could I get a 12 ounce white chocolate milk iced? No, nah, just riding around, trying to enjoy some of the nice weather. Finally started to get in some decent ones. Actually have a summer? Yeah. So glad this place is uh, still open. So gonna go ahead and crank through this coffee. Check back in with you guys in a couple minutes. All right. Delicious coffee. As you can see, it's all gone. Because it's good stuff. Yeah, so shout out to Buckley Plateau Espresso. They got some awesome coffee. They actually have some great coffee, which is my favorite go-to in the area. They use this specific blend from a local roastery. And it is delicious. It's ruined coffee for <laughs> any other coffee for me because... I only like this now. <laughs> so shout out Plateau Espresso. I'll go ahead and take a second. If you've not had a chance, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you like motorcycle content, moto vlogging, and more. All of it's on the channel and more of it's headed your way. So hit that notification bell for future uploads and live streams. I haven't done a live stream yet, but you know what? Maybe we'll do one soon. So before we get into the review of the Puig windscreen, this kind of review is, is you know, just what my personal impressions are. So take it how you want. Let me know if you have had this windscreen in the past let me know what your thoughts are but before we get into that i'm going to just take y'all on a little quick journey 
and talk about my experience with what led me to getting this windscreen. So it all started when? <laughs> it all started when I was out riding, having a good day. It was a Sunday and I was like, you know what? I need a burrito. So there's this really great burrito place about 15 minutes from my house and they make these giant freaking burritos. They are huge. And so it's actually, they're so big that my wife and I, <laughs> whenever we want them, we kind of just look at each other and say, giant burrito, giant burrito. Yeah, yeah giant burrito. <laughs> So I was on my way to get a giant burrito on the Honda Rebel 500 because you know what? I'm like, yeah, I could fit burritos in my backpack even though they're huge, they're not that big. And on my way there, it was probably like three minutes after I left my house. Headed on over to get a giant burrito, super hungry, nice sunny afternoon and kind of out of nowhere, you know, just maybe out of my peripheral, I see a bug kind of just maybe about this high up fly directly at me. And I kind of brush where I think it hit and then move on. But you know, I just, I didn't really think much of it because if you ride motorcycles, you know that bugs come flying at you all the time. And so you kind of get used to it and you just kind of deal with it. A couple minutes before I get there, I start feeling kind of a weird, I don't know, just a weird feeling. It's not really any pain necessarily, but it's just, it's kind of like something doesn't feel right it's maybe kind of scratchy but it's in my upper chest area and as i get closer the feeling not necessarily pain but the feeling becomes more and more intense and so finally i get to a gas station which is right next to the burrito place and i needed gas so i'm like all right i need to pull in and get some gas and i pull in and i start feeling like this crazy pain. I'm like, what the hell is this? I get to the gas station and start ripping all of my gear off. And honestly, I'm re I regret to this day that I didn't go back and ask them if they had any footage of that because I think it would have been hilarious. I literally pulled into the gas station, ripped off my jacket, pulled my helmet off, pulled my, <laughs> or pulled off my gloves, my jacket, everything. And right as I'm unzipping my jacket, a bee, a wasp, a hornet, I don't know, one of the above, comes flying out of my chest and flies away. That damn bee. So I got attacked by a bee while I was riding on my way to get a burrito. Man, it sucked. I had probably like six or seven areas where I was stung. So I don't, again, it might have been biting me or stinging me. I don't know. Right then and there, I was like, you know what? I got to get a windscreen. I cannot have this happen again. You know, now having that experience, I know I should probably maybe pound my chest more or if I see a bug land on me and I'm not too sure if it whatever happened maybe pull over and try to get it off or whatever but it had actually landed on my chest and then crawled inside my jacket somehow and was like in my jacket behind my shirt it had like burrowed and then I guess got pissed off and started stinging the shit out of me I decided to go and get the Puig windscreen because well, I guess I'll just talk a little bit real quick on why I decided to get this windscreen. Honestly, I I didn't really know what windscreen I wanted, but this was one of the more popular ones that other riders on like the Honda Rebel pages got. Oop. All right, mind your surroundings. He really wasn't that close, but I was going the speed limit, I think. I'll check back. And he still decided to pull out. He was not looking. So anyway, I thought this one looked cool. I didn't want one that was just gonna be a huge fairing and like really tall. And I kind of wanted a low profile one and this one seemed like it was kind of in the middle because I was at the time a little worried about getting something that was too short. My fear was that I wouldn't see any kind of difference. I went ahead and went with the Puig 9462H. Thought it looked cool. Went with the kind of light smoke or the smoke color. I didn't want to get the fully blacked out one just in case it had any, you know, I'd never seen it. I'd never ridden with it. So I didn't know how much of my my vision it was going to cover and anything like that. And now that I'm riding with it, it's only really just right what's right in front of me. So when I look straight on out, I don't know. That's if I lift the camera up, that's probably more what my view is most of the time. Bought it on Amazon. I have a link in the description for y'all. I put it on. It was super easy. I'm going to go ahead and flash just a quick little bit of footage that I have of 
where you put it in, where the install points are. Um, I got it before I started the moto vlog. The install was really easy. It probably took a half hour or so. It was just two bolts that needed to be removed that were on the motorcycle and replaced with the bolts that came with the windscreen. And then the four bolts that are and nuts and washers that are actually connected to the windscreen. So if I ever take it off, maybe I'll do kind of like an install video. Now I just kind of want to talk a little bit about what my thoughts have been. So I put it on and you know, I don't hate the look. I haven't hated the look and, and you guys have seen it, you know, it might kind of be one of the things that makes my motorcycle stand out. I know a lot of people do have this windscreen so it doesn't stand out completely, but maybe something you're used to seeing because obviously all the pictures I've taken and put on social media or on the channel have all had the windscreen with them. And it's not bad, you know, it kind of, it, it adds a nice little kind of middle point between the two mirrors that stick up. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with the mirrors yet. That'll be another video. But if you leave the stock mirrors on with the, with the way they come from the factory, then having the windscreen is kind of, you know, it doesn't look like it's sticking out too crazy. If the mirrors were flipped, that might be a little bit of a different story. Saw dude. I don't know what that'll look like. Maybe I'll flip the mirrors and we'll, we'll see what it looks like with the windscreen or, or whatever. But yeah, so I, I don't think the looks bad. The darks or the, the lighter smoke color looks nice with the rest of the bike all being black. One of the things I noticed right away was that it definitely redirected the wind in a pretty big way. That in my experience has been both good and bad. So let's go ahead and start with the good and I'll just talk about that a little bit. But the good thing is, is this windscreen has, you know, in my head, I was like, I don't know how much it's actually going to do just because, you know, it only, it stops pretty, pretty quickly over here. It's not like a big fairing that comes way out here, but I noticed a huge difference. All of a sudden, I'm not getting all this wind going straight to my chest. I noticed that when I was riding previously that after riding for a little bit and getting the, you know, taking the full brunt of the wind to your chest, that after a while it would tire me out. So I found that I wasn't getting as tired as quickly, which was awesome. And I put it on kind of towards the end of summer. So I went into the winter months last year, which would be 2021. And I think it directed a lot of the wind off of me, which helped me stay warmer. So definitely I would say it is a good choice if you're going to be riding in cooler weather. I don't know yet about warmer weather. Right now it's 85 degrees out today. This is probably the hottest I've ridden this year because we've just been having such a mild summer. And it's honestly, yeah, I mean, I'm still feeling pretty cooled down. So we'll have to see what it's like when it's actually, when it's really hot out. And uh, yeah, maybe it directs too much of the wind off of me. So that might be kind of both a pro and a con. I haven't decided yet, but I, I'm going to go with a, it's a pro, you know, it takes a lot of the wind off of my chest, a lot of the wind off of my shoulders. I mean, no wind right here whatsoever, which is awesome, right? Kind of in this middle. So it makes me feel a little bit more comfortable about leaving my phone mounted. I know that this is kind of a knockoff, you know, cheap uh, phone mount that I have, but it hopefully helps rocks from hitting my phone and and uh, that's the other thing. The other thing that I've really enjoyed about this windscreen is uh, be, because it's high enough and, and it's a good size, it directs the majority of the stuff that would be coming at my arms or my chest away from me. I get hit with way less bugs, which is nice. It's kind of funny if I go out and ride during a warm day where there's a lot of bugs, I'll notice after uh, a little while of riding, I'll notice just a ton of bugs all over the place. So I'm like, wow, most of those would end up on me. So that's pretty nice that they're, they're <laughs> the windscreen is blocking a lot of the bugs. And uh, that's part of my original motivation, like I mentioned with my bee story, that I wanted to have something that would block me from the bugs that are coming at me. So hopefully any future bees that kind of line up in that perfect area, you know, don't come flying at me and hitting me. Overall, I'd say the pros, the, the benefits, the things that I've enjoyed with this windscreen has been, you know, I think it looks decent. I don't think it looks too goofy, like some of those really tall, weird windscreens. It definitely directs a lot of the wind away from me, so it, I have more comfortable rides. I think I can probably ride a little bit longer, so I don't have as much rider fatigue. 
and then it blocks a lot of things coming at me you know it's nice to know that if a rock was headed my way or uh, a large bee or a bug or whatever that I at least have a chance of it being stopped by this windscreen so those are the benefits those are the things that I've enjoyed and noticed so far so now to talk about the cons a little bit for me I'm I'm 5'8 that's my height and while the height of the windscreen doesn't necessarily bother me in terms of like impairing my vision or anything like that the majority of the wind gets re redirected and it doesn't get redirected over my head it actually gets redirected directly onto my helmet that causes wind buffeting i'm not a huge fan of fan of wind buffeting it's kind of frustrating so i get a ton of wind buffeting and actually if you go back and watch some of my videos where i'm riding at probably 45 miles an hour or faster you can kind of hear it in the audio it took a long time to get used to it but it actually ended up causing me to wear earplugs full time which honestly I was kind of already gonna already planning on doing something like that just because I want to protect my hearing and riding for longer periods of time kind of seemed to mess with my hearing in general so this windscreen for me based on my height causes a tremendous amount of wind buffeting and I've messed with kind of the angle and some part some points it's better than others but for the most part I cannot get rid of it completely that's one of the things that has made me kind of wonder if I want to keep this this windscreen on long term at all I haven't fully decided yet but the wind buffeting is annoying and I've been noticing it in my videos more and more even if it's just in the background and so because of that I, I don't know I'm not sure if I'll want to keep it the other thing like I kind of like I mentioned earlier so I, I like the look of it but I think honestly the bike probably would look a little bit better with a smaller windscreen like I mentioned before I, I was hoping to get one that would actually be effective and I think this one is very effective almost no wind hits me until the middle upper portion of my helmet so it does redirect the wind pretty good i have been down here let me go ahead do a little <laughs> so i don't mind the look of it but especially if i had the mirrors flipped and i think in general i think one of the shorter windscreens might look a little bit better let me know what you guys all think about the puig windscreen this is the 9462h version and uh, yeah let me know if you like it on the honda rebel 500 if you think it kind of sticks out too much or if it's kind of a nice profile i think it's right on the line you know if i had to draw a line i think this windscreen is probably right on the line of being almost too high but maybe not too high yet let me know if you think i should keep it or if i should try out a different one but it does what it is intended to do so i cannot complain and i'd say that this is a good product i'd probably say that if you're a little bit taller than i am or a little bit shorter that you might not have any issues with it at all like i mentioned i'm 5'8 i do get the wind buffeting on the top of my helmet and i know that there are some other things i could do to fix that like i could put one of those little clip on windscreens and try that out or maybe i just haven't messed with the positioning enough but for the most part i do get wind buffeting and i'm not sure if that's something i want to have long term or for longer rides so let me know in the comments what your experience is and if you like the look of it what you think of the windscreen but overall i would give this product a positive review just because like i mentioned it does really well it was super easy to install it does exactly what it's intended to to do it it does pull the majority of the wind off of my body and sends it upward i don't mind the look of it that's why that's part of the reason why i've kept it so leave a comment down below let me know if you'd like to see a different windscreen or what you think about the review but yeah i give this product a positive review the only major negative point that i would say it has is the amount of wind buffeting that i get but that is manageable. Like I said, I've been able to get used to it with some earplugs. Anyway, thank you all for hanging on out. Thank you for coming along with me for this product review of the Puig Windscreen 9462H Light Smoke. Go ahead and like the video, leave a comment. If you've not had a chance, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. 
I really would appreciate it. And as always, this is the Evergreen Motor Vlog channel reminding you to ride safe out there, mind your surroundings, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace!